Hi everyone, I'm really excited to be doing a lip chat again. I haven't done one in a while. I haven't actually been reading that much lately. I've just been really, really busy and I haven't really um, gotten sucked into a book recently. But I actually wanted to do this video for a while and I wanted to do my top 10 books of 2011. I know it's like already January, but I thought better late than never. Um, and I actually could not <coughs> narrow it down to just 10, so I'm gonna do the top 11. So these are not in any particular order, they're just random order. And what I'm gonna do is below, I'm going to have links for them so you can find out more about these books. Um, some of these I have never talked about in actual like lit chat, like individually. Um, the first one that I want to talk about is Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis, and this is a really good historical fiction and it's about a Lithian, Lithuanian girl named Lena and she's exiled with her family to Siberia, Siberia under the brutal regime of Stalin. So it is a historical fiction book and it's really heart-wrenching, it's quite dramatic, um, you know there's a lot of sort of very sad things that happen but it's just an amazing book about the strength of humanity and about the human spirit and her you know endurance against all odds to survive so I really really loved that book and completely recommend it the next book that I really enjoyed reading last year is The Kitchen House by Kathleen Grissom and this is actually um, it's, it's about, it's set during the slave period in southern USA. I'm not sure exactly which state it takes place in, but it's like in the south during slavery. It shows the slavery from different perspectives. Like it talks about um, Lavinia, she, I guess she's one of the main characters and she's actually a white servant. And it also talks um, from the perspective of the black slaves who work on this big farm. I think it's like a plantation or something. So I really enjoyed this book. It was very, I've never actually read a book. Um, like a, a fiction book to do with slavery so this was kind of um, new for me to read a fiction about it and it was really engaging really well written and just yeah really really good book so another book that I really enjoyed is The Help by Katherine Stockett and this has obviously been made into a movie now and it's been nominated for a bunch of Oscars it's already won a lot of prizes and I I really liked the book and I also liked the movie this book is about the prejudice prejudices faced by black black servants in like 1962 Mississippi and how this white educated woman named Skeeter she tries to I guess improve or shed light on these injustices by writing about their lives so um, a lot of the servants like she talks to a lot of these black servants and shows their life and like stories from their life and it's just an amazing book I really really love this so definitely go and pick that up if you haven't read it the next book I want to talk about is Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen and I did do I think a lit chat about this. I absolutely love this book. Um, it actually chronicles the adventures of a young man named Jacob who basically he joins a traveling circus in the 1920s I believe. It's during the prohibition period in the United States and yeah he he joins one of those like traveling circuses that are on the like on the road by rail cars and yeah it talks a lot about his life in the circus with all these acrobats and artists and stuff like that and he's actually he works as a veterinarian in the circus and I thought this was a very colorful book like I'd never read a book before about the circus and it was just really different and I loved all the different characters and stuff and it was just great so the next book that I really liked is Grace Lane by Kristen Kashore and I read this like really early in the last year so I don't remember the exact details of the story piece by piece but it's basically a, a high fantasy story um, revolving around our main character Katza and she actually has a special skill which is called a grace and all the people who have these graces are basically in the service of this very corrupt king and her skill is killing people, so it's kind of a strange skill to have, like a very deadly skin skill to have. And yeah, she basically goes on this really big quest, like this really adventurous quest to like overthrow, you know, the rule of order and like she finds out all these secrets about the kingdom she lives in with her friend Poe. The names are quite stupid in this book, but the actual, like the story and the whole adventure in this fantasy um, land is just amazing. I really, really enjoyed this. It was very engaging. A lot of stuff happens. So this was a really great book, I think. 
Another one that I really enjoyed is the Chaos Walking series. So I'll just mention the first book. It's The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. And I also never talked about this um, in a lit chat, but it's a trilogy. There's three books which I absolutely love. So The Knife of Never Letting Go is the first one. And it's basically the story around, rolls around Todd who lives in this really strange town called Prentice Town, and it's actually on a foreign planet. So in this town, Prentice Town, there's no women, there's only men. And he basically learns some really awful secrets about this town that he lives in, and he begins to reveal a very dark past. Um, but learning these things actually puts him in mortal danger, so he's forced to flee. And on the way he meets a friend um, named Viola, so they're basically on the road trying to find a safe haven from this terror. And it's a trilogy and it's really, really great. Um, it, it follows the adventures of Todd and Viola as they, you know, find out more and more about Prentice Town and about this whole place where they live and like all these dark secrets and stuff very engaging, very well written, it's very different prose, so a great book. The next one that I also wanted to mention is Divergent by Veronica Roth, and I did do a lit chat about this. This was definitely one of my favorite books that I read this last year, and it's a futuristic dystopia setting, so it takes place in the future, and it's basically a story of Beatrice, who lives in this like very strange society and she must basically choose her place in society because it's actually split into five different factions. So, and the choice that she makes on which faction to join, um, she basically reveals some dark secrets about the society she lives in and her role in it. So, very, very engaging. It's a really great um, story. Uh, very, like, very dystopian, very, like, macabre, but, yeah, really engaging, very action-packed, and there's a love story as well, but it's not overpowering it, so I really like that book. The next one I wanted to mention is Hounded by Kevin Hearn, and this is part of the Iron Druid Chronicles. So this is a series of books, so um, Hounded is the first one, and I've read the first three books. And this is an urban fantasy, so that means it's, it's fantasy, but it play, takes place in present day, like it takes place in our time and place. And it basically depicts the adventures of the druid Atticus O'Sullivan, and he's actually 21 centuries old, so he's almost immortal, but he looks like a young guy, like he looks like 21, like he doesn't age. Um, so yeah, he basically works in a bookshop, that's like his cover, and he's integrated into like normal society, so people don't know that he's like this amazing druid, um, but basically uh, demons and other, you know, power-hungry gods come from the other realm and like in invade his private space, so it's kind of like he has to battle these evil forces, and it's just, it's very, um, it's very funny, like the books are very funny, and the, the urban fantasy see it's kind of like a very strange um, you know alternate reality so I love these books they're really really good so if you like those kind of urban fantasies I would definitely check out this the Iron Druid Chronicles by Kevin Hearn um, another one I wanted to mention is Enclave by Anne Aguirre and I also did a, a lit chat about this one so it's also a post-apocalyptic fiction um, set in the future but that's focused around the life of Deuce and she's a 15 year old girl who lives basically in the society in the the New York subway system. So it's like there's been an apocalypse, like something awful has happened to the world. And basically she begins to see problems within this society that she never really questioned before, but she begins to question certain things in this society and that leads her to actually be exiled. So she has to make her own way like out of the subways um, with her hunting partner Fade. And it also is kind of like a zombie story, so there are zombies in it, which makes it very exciting, I think. And it was just very action-packed, um, very futuristic, very like, yeah, dystopian. Um, you know, if you like those kind of books, I think you might really enjoy this. The next one I wanted to mention is The Maze Runner by James Dashner, and again, this is a trilogy, so I did read all three books. The first book is The Maze Runner, and I did do a lit chat of that. And it's basically a story, uh, you know, to condense it really quickly, is a group of boys who basically wake up to find themselves trapped in a very deadly maze and they have to find their way out. So that's the whole story. I mean, of course, a lot more happens, but again, a very exciting, um, 
lot of lots of action um, the interesting characters interesting like storylines and there's a lot of mystery surrounding it like you don't really know what's happening like it's kind of very um, yeah it keeps you keeps you on the edge like wondering what's gonna happen so I really enjoyed that whole trilogy and um, I actually follow James Dashner on Twitter and he is actually releasing a prequel to the Maze Runner which I guess is going to give some more kind of um, you know background on the society or whatever and the last book that I wanted to also mention is Ashes by Ilza J. Bick and this is again a post a post apocalyptic story about this girl named Alex and she's basically hiking in the mountains like on her own she's going on this like hiking trip and then this electromagnetic pulse sweeps over the whole like place like earth and First of all, it kills all electronic devices, so they're kind of like back to the roots. <laughs> and also it kills the vast majority of adults. So also, um, there are zombies in this again, so there are uh, there's kind of like a zombie element to this. So she basically must find a safe haven. Um, she finds her way back and she meets up with um, another friend on the road named Tom and yeah, it just kind of like follows them on their journey and it was just another very exciting story. I really really enjoyed this. Um, it was very action-packed again, lots of things happening, very um, macabre, like kind of that dark setting. Those are my top 11 picks. I didn't mention the Mortal Instruments series because in the last book it's kind of been going like way downhill for me and I have talked about those books a lot but um, I really did like the Mortal Instruments as well but I didn't really include them in here. I have joined on Goodreads like um, a challenge, like a reading challenge for 2012 so I'm trying to read I think 60 books because last year I was already at 60 so first I was thinking 70 but um, maybe I'll just aim for 60 and if I can shoot higher then that's good so yeah 60 books for 2012 so that's that's quite a lot um, I've started reading two different books but I'm just not into them at all like they're kind of dragging so I don't know I might have to just put them down and try something else so anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this lit chat. If you want to do this like top 10 or top whatever books of 2011, um, go ahead and do that and you can put them as a video response. So I'd like to see what your favorite books were of 2011. Um, and also make sure to add me on Goodreads um, because I do reviews of every book I read on there. So I'll have the link for that below as well. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.